I look upset with anything? Do I sound upset with anything? Hey boss, I hate to interrupt your lunch break, no, but um, when I was uh, digging those post auger holes, I broke my back watching that off. What's up you guys, Andre here with Jack of All Trades. We are actually headed back to the same job site we were at yesterday because the contractor called me back out this morning. He's changing the design up a little bit and he wants to make sure the customer is going to be very satisfied with the results. Cause she told him that she doesn't care, just do what you can. She knows it's not his fault because the company she hired to remove the trees were supposed to grade the backyard and also remove all the stumps. But as you guys saw in the previous video, that did not happen. So. I'm going back out right now to make it look as good as I can to the contractor's liking so he can basically get the fence up and make it actually look good instead of just like all right. So uh, I'm not fixing the whole backyard, I'm just fixing where the posts are going. But eventually I will probably be coming back to this property to fix this backyard because the customer was very happy with how I was doing the work and uh, she got my business card. So we'll see, maybe we'll have another job out of it in the future. Guys, why'd you have to take my parking spot? Up on time, man. When did you guys tell Michael to call me? Huh? When did you guys tell Michael to call me? Didn't. No? No, no, he didn't. Oh, he was out here? She, I think she emailed him. And said, hey, they came out and cleared the trees yeah, last night. Yeah, they just left them. They just left them. Wait, what? They came last night and cut down that pine tree. They, they, the they came in the dark? So, huh? I can't believe that. Really? Are they coming back to move them around or no? I have no idea. She I think she told him she don't like them well, on her property. She had a crush on you, dude. She said she don't want the other two. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, man. I can't believe that. Really? Hey, that's a good good morning. lol so i'm assuming now we're probably going to be going more that way and making it a proper 90 degree turn because at first you see we were just going to loop around the trees yeah <laughs> oh i feel bad for this customer yeah Which stumps you need gone, Ben? All of these on this side? Right Alright. I'll be right back. I'm gonna run to the truck and get my helmet real quick. Are you upset, Ben? Are you just upset with the situation? Do you have to redo it now? I'm not upset with anything. Do I look upset with anything? Do I sound upset with anything? <laughs> yeah. You you really do, my man. <laughs> no, I'm good, brother. No, I'm good. I got some in the truck. All right, thanks, man. So these are the stumps right here, guys. These X's is where I got to drill the holes. But uh, basically, this whole hill, I got to remove all the stumps.
as you guys can see, there are roots literally everywhere. The rest will just have to be cleaned up with a sawzall. to do this type of work no but it does make life easier otherwise you're gonna be doing this all day hey boss I hate to interrupt your lunch break no, but um, when I was uh, digging those post auger holes I broke my back watching that auger rip through all those <laughs> <laughs> roots, I was gonna see if you mind bending down and remeasuring. <laughs> Dude, those roots were Dude, it was really bad. bad on that one. Yeah, I was surprised. It was just going like, truck, 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 truck. You got power rays? Mm -hmm. Y'all decided to bring some because y'all got tired of water yesterday, huh? Yeah. Took me on that advice, huh? I brought some, I was like, yeah. 
tired of drinking water. That's good. I just, I'll take a water right now. You I sure? just, yeah, I appreciate you it. Want I'll, say, really I'll, I'll save you the money on that because those are expensive. No, they're on sale at Kroger, $5.99 for Apex. $5.99? That's not bad. The gay rays were like $9.99. Yeah. I was like, I ain't buying that. Mm hmm. Shoot, worked all day just to buy a Gatorade? It don't make no, no sense, huh? No. Oh, this water tastes good. Oh, it, pure life makes sense. I was like, man, it tastes like spring water. Yeah, I like spring water. I don't buy. You have so many posts to put up still. So. Yeah. Well. And on that hill, we had to brace all of them. Brace them all, huh? They don't want to stand up. Should have slapped them. Be straight. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe sit, but watch out for this. An empire. That's an empire. Fire ants, yeah. Hmm. I threw a post down on it, and they all came running out. Yeah, yeah this is a jab, man. I know, man. Right? It's a big old fence. That's good though. You know? That's good though. More money. Yeah, I thought we were just doing the grass when I first came, and then she was like, "No, I'm gonna take it back." That's good. Yeah. yeah. So I got these bad boys. Yep. And I I knew this. Huh? Is this the crazy one right here? Yeah. Look at all these roots. Oh. oh my goodness. Look at that. Yeah. It just went through it. No problem though. That would have took us forever. Yeah. You feeling better about that thing now? Yeah, I got more comfortable with it and it just takes time with stuff like that. Yeah, it was my first day using it yesterday and having it locked in, it's continuously spinning, it's so much easier because I can use both hands for control up, down, side, oh, you know. Yeah. So you don't have to worry because, about turning the throttle up on it or Well the throttle you just put it up, but before yeah. I was having to like push down and give it gas at the same time and it was just like too rough. Yeah. It's easy though. Because once you got it spinning, mm -hmm. you can use both hands. But yesterday I was only using one hand and spinning the auger. It, yeah. yeah. It was a pain, but I mean, not a pain, but it's a lot easier. Really. Oh, yeah, those stumps were cake. I mean, I got through them and like. Those are good. Mm -hmm. The machine just zapped them in a couple minutes. I think she'll probably have you come back and do the rest. Hopefully. I'll she take that job. It, yeah. I don't know what she's doing with this, dude. Someone's going to have to clean this stuff up yeah she'll probably hire me to clean it up if those guys don't show up <laughs> well she told me this morning that she told them she don't want them back that bermuda grass won't grow unless it's in direct sun uh -huh. so i was like you're gonna send me a letter what about this guy i was like look at this and they're like oh we didn't know about that i was like yeah well i'd be more worried about that than someone with some dirt in their yard <laughs> yeah yep they're just petty so there was another hole right here right Cause you you dug you rode ninety five right here, but it was summer here and the dirt just kind of yeah yeah. Got I, I filled it in I think a little bit. Is the one that we had that you had already made? Cause th this is the one from yesterday. Were you guys just using yeah, this we're one? We're gonna use that one to pop to that and then there. Why did you put an X over here last time before you left? You had an X and you rode ninety five inches. Oh, I just did that so you would know if. You covered it up when you were moving dirt or stump. Oh, so you, you were talking was about that one? that one? Oh, okay. I thought you wanted me to make another hole right here. No, you're good. Okay. So these holes from yesterday will work? Yeah. Kind of sucks because she could have used a lot more land if she would have put the fence more back. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to hire the right guys, bro. I mean, this is a small job right here. You get this done in no time. She paid them full price like months ago, she said. Months ago. To it, come out and do it. People are insane, man. I can't believe it. They they, they took advantage of her. Four separate times. Because they didn't do it right three times in a row. Yeah. And the job's still not done. You saw them. Yeah. <laughs> you dude. saw Bros something. pulled up with their kids' chainsaws, yeah, huh? Yeah, dude. And there's something wrong with that guy. He was on something. Yeah. He's not the kind of people I want at my house. Well, you'd be surprised for such an expensive property, but... <sighs> but yeah, it would have. did her landscaping for a while, so that's how she knew them. Uh huh. So she asked them, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we cut trees down, but they only cut down like brush trees. They don't cut yeah. down actual trees." Yeah. But yeah, 
if this was my property, I'd go with the fence as far back as possible. Because mm -hmm. it's like, after These you put are this fence. supposed to be down too. And that one. Yeah. Every tree was supposed to get cut in this lot. Man, that's, that's just nuts. Those, that one, that one, and that one. They broke their chainsaw on that big pine, she said. They broke the yeah. MS-170? Yeah, that's why they couldn't, uh, they broke the chain on it. That's why they couldn't uh, chop up the stuff and move it out of the way. Did they ask the customer to buy him a new chainsaw too? That's why she probably kicked them off. <laughs> oh, ma'am, you're going to have to get us a new chainsaw. It broke on your job. It broke at your job. That's funny. You know people do this. So you think that's it with the post holes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they look good. All right, then I'm just going to put away the auger. Yeah, you're good. Boom, 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 boom. Yep, that's all we need. Gloves come in handy when you move these ramps, especially in the summer when they're burning hot. You guys need anything else from me? Just the rest of the fence. Just the rest of the fence? <laughs> Wouldn't that be good, huh? It's hot, but hey, you guys gonna get it done. Jump back into it. Good luck. I'll hey, see you guys later. Yes, Alright, brother. Be safe out there. Have a good weekend, man. Yeah, you Appreciate too, man. Take care of your truck. Always. You guys gonna have to return to our Michael gonna come get it. He was supposed to pick it up this morning. Yeah. He didn't show up this morning? I hope Home Depot don't charge him extra. I think he said he got the whole thing for free since it didn't really work on it. Yeah. I hope they do. That thing didn't work at all. That's surprising. You got a trash bag in your truck? I do. Yeah. I got you. You don't have to steal it. I'll give it to you. <laughs> no, I, I got a bunch of trash bags. I got I got black ones and white ones, you know. White ones are for bottles, black ones are for trash cuz they're the heavy duty construction. Yeah, you just want a white one. We're just putting bottles in. You like this one better than the old truck? This truck's a beast, man. I love it, but uh, it sucker's expensive. It is expensive. Like 10 years ago, could have got this truck for half the price. I bet you could. Like, so I gotta pay a thousand dollars and sixty bucks just for the payment, not even counting insurance. It's too expensive, bro. It's crazy. That's mm. why I'm still driving that Honda. Yeah, it, I mean, if you if you don't need a bigger need car, no that. need. Yeah. I wouldn't buy this if I wouldn't need it, bro. This thing's way too expensive for just fun driving around. Unless you got money like that, you know, then it's yeah. it might be cheap, but 
for regular people like us, bro, yeah. we can't afford yeah, toys this expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is what it is. It yeah, it hasn't let me down yet, so. Mm -hmm. Can't yeah. complain, really. All right, brother. Catch you later. All right, guys, so that pretty much wrapped it up for that job. I'm actually headed home right now. I'm going to swap to a dump trailer and go to a junk removal estimate. And on the way home, I got another call about some other lady, but she wanted an over-the-phone estimate, and it was a queen-size box spring. And I told her 100 bucks, and man, she almost lost it. It's like, do you want me to pay out of my own pocket to remove your own junk? People are crazy, and 100 bucks for my area is competitive college hunks would be at about 155 160 so uh, yeah I'm not gonna be the guy that does it for 50 bucks and dumps it on the side of the road that's just not right so it is what it is on to the next one I guess and you know what's funny it's the people that have the money that are the cheapest my goodness people need to stop buying houses they can't afford because if you can't afford to pay a hundred bucks to remove a box spring you shouldn't be buying a house in that community let me just leave it there we got the dump trailer hooked up. We are headed to this job right now. We are about seven minutes away. Thankfully, it was only 15 minutes from my house, so that's nice. I also went inside, ate some lunch because, man, I was hungry, and being hungry and hot is not a good combination. It will make you go crazy. So we'll see. Hopefully, we get this job right now. That would be a big blessing. It's interesting that this neighborhood is saying Brasselton, but on maps, it's saying it's a Houston address. So it's very confusing. Somebody messed up. Looks like they just had an internet cable installed. They got a barrier though. It was kind of a challenge to find the house because uh, the house address didn't match up with a GPS. It like ended and it was like 400 something, but this house is too. Oh, so I got this, uh, like this set here. This couch? Yeah, this couch. Is... Are you keeping the clothes or the clothes are trash too? Yeah, everything is trash. So everything here is trash? Yeah, no, no, the clothes are, I'm keeping the clothes. Oh, I didn't get you. Okay. So it's just a seat. Okay. See? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, like this one here. This table here. Okay. This. Both trash? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. And then uh, that bed there. Plus also the, all this stuff here. All this stuff here. All the stuff is here trash? Yeah, apart from the car seat there. Okay, what yeah. about this bike? No, the bike is not trash. Bike is not trash? Is yeah. this bike trash? Huh? Is this one trash or no? No. No, so yeah. just here? Yes, yeah. Uh huh. And then uh, I got another seat. Uh, another couch? Uh, yeah, another couch. Uh, like the, there are two. So the small one of this, the one with two people sit. Uh, and, uh, and another. Do you want me to show you that? Yeah, show me. Yeah. Yeah. Backed up on the driveway, we got the job. Let me show you guys what it is. It's gonna be mattress, box spring, some miscellaneous trash over here, this couch, and then he's got another piece to it upstairs and uh, some other miscellaneous junk. Did you just buy this house or you rent it? I'm renting it. Okay, because I was like, man, you selling it already? <laughs> but the pillows are trash, right? They go with the couch? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. While they clean up those couches and box springs, I'm gonna get this table from the back right here. So I tried to come in at 400, but uh, the guy wanted it a little bit cheaper and I told him, yeah, as long as you guys help me load it. So we agreed on 350 and uh, that'll help me because there's some stuff upstairs and it's gonna be way easier to get that stuff out with uh, two people. So there is a uh, this bed right here, this couch, and then this table. So I just let this thing down the stairs and I just gotta carefully remove it with the churn. 
I'm straight in the trailer. All right, you guys, I just got back home. I'm gonna unload this uh, little bit of scrap that I have in this trailer because tomorrow I'm gonna go to another uh, junk removal estimate and possibly land it. It's, I believe, a small pickup, but I just wanna go prepared and have the space for it in the trailer. And then um, I'll head out to the dump, dump this trailer, and then I'll actually head back to the same house I just did because the customer asked me if I can help him with his move. So I'm gonna get the enclosed trailer as well should be very easy i saw his stuff i mean it's just a couple mattresses and miscellaneous junk around the house like furniture wise and uh, we agreed on 500 bucks which is not bad his sons will help me and uh yeah i'm just you know i'm not gonna do as much work because i'm just literally gonna pull up with my trailer help with what they need me to and then move them and then you know i'm done 500 bucks which is not bad because i'm estimating for way less than half a day but who knows, I might be wrong. This is pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. So if you guys enjoyed this content, please don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.